have a good time. Enjoy life. It's um, life is too short to, to to get bogged down to be discouraged or um, you have to keep moving. You have to keep going. Put one foot in front of the other. Smile and just keep on rolling. Let me see you turn around. This your boy Country Bar Kirk, and we back to the business. We back to the grind, man. You know what I'm saying? So today, you know, I've been struggling with this diet since y'all started this YouTube channel. Whoever, you know, all my subscribers, y'all seen that? <clears throat> I've been struggling. Every time I try to get on a diet, somehow it just goes back down to, you know what I'm saying? So. I'm trying something a little new. I've been trying to do like these little vegan juices. And I, I used to do it like every morning, one every morning. And I used to like, when I get off of work, <clears throat> I used to eat one meal when I get off of work. So I'll eat the juice in the morning and eat whatever meal I get off. Just to get into a little habit of seeing how it tastes and just to get into a little habit of how, you know, how it come out. And I, I kind of liked it. So I was like, man, maybe I should just do three days, I mean, do a vegan juice or smoothie, however y'all want to call it, three times a day. Because I do want to get away from eating meat, but I know I have a lot of cons, goes into it, and I did research on it, and I was like, okay, some of the cons of going like vegan juice, juice, vegan juice, is you don't have enough fats or protein or whatever the case may be, but I'm making it to where I have all those type of nutrients I need. So I ain't have to, you know, I ain't got to really worry about oh, if I'm missing this or if I'm missing that. So I'm like, today I'm actually doing my smoothie. Like today I'm starting like three times a day, just a vegan smoothie every day. That's it. I'm going to actually show y'all my breakfast vegan smoothie. And all of them basically going to be the same. It's just... The one in the evening, I might add like a little oats to it just to give a little carbs. You know, I can have a lot of energy throughout the day. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get right, man. I'm trying to get back into it. So I'm gonna try to set up this camera so y'all can see me juicing. So I hope y'all like it. Your boy's back. We back on the grind. We back on no. We ain't saying grind no more. We back to the business. You heard? Back to the business. Let's get it. If y'all wondering what this is, this kale. I like to use fresh kale. All the ingredients I use for my product will spend about $20, $30. And it'll last me for a week or so. You know what I'm saying? But I put like kale. Uh, that'd be about a half, a whole handful, a little bit more, you know? Next. And guys, you can just use your like. You can use your favorite, like I like kale. I, I tend to like kale better than spinach. So most of the time I'm gonna use kale. But like if I wanna mix it up, I might just add that spinach just to give a different taste. But as far as right now, I'm using kale. My favorite fruit is pineapples. I love pineapples, so I throw in about a handful of pineapples. And yeah, I clean my hands. Just gotta get it in. A whole handful, you go have about, about that many, you know what I'm saying? However much you want. I'm a rock because I love pineapples, I love the taste of it. So, boom. I'm not even gonna worry about the protein part right now. I'm just trying to get in the habit of eating better and at a better, how can you call it? Like strict, strict. I'm trying to get strict and make better choices and try to get into a habit of doing this every day. That's that's my main goal right now at this point. So, so you see, got my pineapples. Y'all yeah, may think it's overcrowding the glass, but it's really not. You just push it down. But see, got about half and half kale, half and half spinach. You know, I mean, half and half kale and like a half a cup of. Damn, I'm saying it wrong again. Just look at it. Fuck. I mean, <laughs> dang. Killing them pineapples. There you go. Boom. I'm trying to be extra, man. Come on, man. 
tripping. Not for my fits. Avocado, that's it. I'm gonna cut up. I'm gonna use about half of it. I'm gonna use a whole banana, about a medium sized banana. You know what I'm saying? I actually broke it wrong. That's why it's coming out like that. Yeah. Banana, I love bananas too. And if you like have a hard, if you have like a hard time drinking it because you, you know you like some sweet bananas, they add a lot of sweetness to your drinks. You just break it up, break it down. How am I gonna do it? Boom, boom, you push it down like I said. This. Put an avocado too. Avocado. Show me. They can see me. Mm -hmm. See the avocado. Put it back. You can just put it close. You gotta put me in. Ooh, look how beautiful that avocado is. Boy, I got a good one. Ooh. I said I cut it in half and I'm gonna use half of it. Cause you don't wanna use all that. You don't need that much fat. You know what I'm saying? Cause you got a lot of nutrients in your greens and all that already. So that's just to keep that fat going in your body. Use half of that. And boom. Mm-hmm. Okay, that brings, baby. All right. See? I got my kale, pineapples, bananas. Half of that avocado, baby. You know, you just pop in your little ice. I might have to mix it up first, though. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit all that in there. Yep, yep. Smush it down, baby. Smush it down. And I use spring water. They say spring water is actually the best for you. So natural spring water. And you just, I guess you just, I mean, you can use what you want. Liquid. I'm going to go in water. Keep it lean. You can use coconut milk, almond milk, whatever. I'm just trying to keep it lean as possible. Because I'm trying to cut like 100 pounds or so. So, but, hey, that's the future. I just stick to this. It's not. About right there. That's enough. And you put you like you only put like a whatever consistency you want. If you want it thick, less less liquid. If you want it watery, you know more water. Duh. I don't like mine's too thick or too watery. I just like mine's just right. Oh, you need more water. Turn upside down. No, no water in there. Let's see how it come up. Can I have more if you want? <clears throat> Let it get to the bottom. Beautiful. And you can blend it however you want. Some people like to keep theirs a little bit of, so they can chew it, I guess. Well, how you gonna call it? But I like mine's strictly liquid. Yep. Look how green it is, baby. Ooh, and that's good too, yeah. Tell you, no cap. Bring it up. Try it yourself. Trust me. I thought the shit. I got to learn how to stop cursing so much, man. I thought the stuff was going to be nasty myself, but... To be honest, this stuff really good, man. It's really good. You just got to get over that... Especially you, you you live in, like, this deep south, Louisiana or Texas, whatever. You know, you eat, like, a lot of salt and stuff in their foods. You just got to get used to... Uh, you just got to get used to... Uh, not even having all them sugars and fats and sauce in your food. Like, other than that, it's good. Like, it's really good. And 
man, you have a burst of energy in the mornings when you drink something like that. The only thing, bad thing, it's like you don't have no carbs in it, so it's like you go digest that fast, you'll be hungry real fast. So that's why I say my second one when I show y'all, I'm gonna add like some oats in it or something like that. Keep that, you know, keep that carb. I think they say it's like a slow release carb or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, that <laughs> they don't think I'm gonna drink it. She about to shake it up. Just put it in the black glass. Mama. You see that on my lips? I see. It. <laughs> For a good snack wise, oh and I'm keeping dairy out too, because I think I'm I can't really digest that dairy like talking about either. I don't know what it is. But it don't, it don't work good with my body. I don't know. But anyway. For snack wise, what I like to do, I like to freeze my uh fruits. Yeah, bro, fruits are so good like that. That's my snack. I got a if you don't believe me, watch. I got a mango sitting in the freezer right now. That's gonna be my snack I'm gonna eat later. If I feel like I you know get hungry, which I will. Like I said, the breakfast one, you gonna be hungry after. I suggest y'all do it. And I feel like if y'all do that fruit in the freezer thing, man, that gonna kill up a lot of y'all urges to eat anything else. Cause that, man, that stuff be so good. Y'all gonna wanna eat that all the time. Instead of going to get a, a Snicker bar or something like that at the store. I'm telling you, try it. That's how I eat all my fruits. I gotta, I gotta eat my fruits cold. So guys, stay tuned. I got you on the vids. We about to go hard. About to have some fun. Oh, check out my new intro. I got the intro coming. And keep up with your boy, man. Your boy about that biz now. No more bull crapping. So, I'm going to finish drinking my drink. Might get a little workout in the day. I'm going to see. The rain is raining like crazy. I got my little, you know, I got my little weight bench outside, but... Hey, whatever. It, it, it don't even matter. Might do a little push-ups in the house. But stay tuned, guys. Peace.